Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to go over the Swarf operation in Esprit and enhancements that have been made to the Swarf operation in Esprit 2017. So to start off, what exactly is a Swarf operation? Swarf operation is a 4 or 5 axis mold operation in which the side of the milling tool is used to quickly finish ruled or near ruled wall surfaces. A Swarf's ruled feature is defined by an upper profile along the wall, a lower profile along the wall, and linear match lines that connect those two profiles. The tool will simultaneously follow the upper and lower profiles of the wall, while the angle of the tool corresponds to the match line that connects the two profiles. To illustrate this, we'll take a look at a quick example. First, a freeform feature must be created to define the part and check surfaces, as shown here. Next, to create the upper and lower profiles along the wall, there are two options. Under the Create Features toolbar, either use Esprit's ruled feature to combine the upper profile, lower profile, and specific match lines into a single feature, as shown here with this ruled feature, upper profile, lower profile, and the individual match lines connecting. Or create two separate chain features and have the Swarf operation in Esprit determine the match lines automatically, as shown with these two chain features. The biggest difference we can see visually is that there are no match lines defined when using two separate chain features. At the start of the Swarf operation, you can see that the tool is oriented along the initial match lines of the ruled wall feature here. As the tool cuts, the part will rotate so that the tool maintains an optimal cutting angle along the ruled wall feature as it cuts. However, there's one aspect of this toolpath that can be enhanced using a new feature from Esprit 2017. If we look at the toolpath near the center of this part, here you can see that the toolpath is moving down slightly while cutting. In many instances, you want to limit the axial movement of the tool to improve the surface finish. In previous versions of Esprit, you could attempt to address this using the Constant Height Depth Passes setting. If we change the setting here, upon building the toolpath, you can see an issue that arises. If there is still material in this area, we would not want the tool to pass through it. Instead, we can use a new option in Esprit 2017 to create a more continuous constant depth cut, as shown here. If we change the setting from constant height to constant height continuous and build the tool path, now we can see that the tool avoids cutting axially while also following a more continuous path for each depth pass. When we run the simulation, you can see the same swarf operation is displayed using the machine kinematics to rotate the part to the proper orientation. With the release of Esprit 2017, other enhancements have been made to the Esprit Swarf operation in order to help automate toolpath creation. Again, we'll look at another example part. In previous versions of Esprit, the toolpath shape was always defined by the shape of the lower ruled feature curve. So if the ruled feature contained any gaps, any grooves, or inconsistencies, such as on this part shown here, here, and here, then the toolpath would follow that same shape. When we run the toolpath analysis, you can see how the tool unnecessarily moves up and down along the lower profile while following along the wall. In Esprit 2017, rather than have to manually edit the ruled feature's lower curve to be more consistent, several new options are available to help address this issue automatically. Within the operation page, we can check the options for tool reference. You can see that there are five options here. Stop at floor, lower profile, upper profile, automatic curve, and automatic plane, each of which can be used to improve the tool path. One option here would be to simply use the upper profile to drive the tool. In this instance, that would dramatically improve the tool path. After we hit OK, we can see that previous areas that were interrupted by the groove shape of the part are now much smoother. However, there are other times when both the upper and lower curves are not ideal, such as the other wall feature on this part. Again, you can see that the resulting toolpath would move unnecessarily along the upper and lower profiles. In this case, Esprit has two other options to automatically generate the best fitting planar or curved toolpath to more efficiently match the overall shape of the wall. Once we make the change to automatic plane and hit OK, we can analyze the toolpath to see that now the tool will no longer make dramatic axial moves while cutting along the groove area here and here. In previous versions of Esprit, a user would have to manually edit a ruled feature by creating curves or geometry to bridge over inconsistent gaps 
then combine those bridging elements into the original feature to generate the proper toolpath. But in Esprit 2017, the need to make those changes has been removed, so that you can create more operations that are more efficient, more quickly. In addition to those changes that we've discussed on this part, there are other SWARF enhancements in Esprit 2017 that may be relevant in other instances, such as the new tangent extension algorithm, which makes sure that the type of tangent extension shown at the start or end of an open toolpath follows the curvature of the wall it's cutting. In this example, each of them is set to a quarter inch. And we can see that along the start and along the end of this open cut, the toolpath follows the curvature of the wall. Also new to Esprit 2017 is the tool axis smoothing option, shown here, which strategically adjusts the tool axis to limit the acceleration of the machine tool while the tool is cutting. This results in less abrupt movements, yielding a better surface finish along the walls. That's today's tip video. We hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and share this video. And stay tuned for other tips and tricks in Esprit 2017 and beyond.